Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is another Marriage and Relationship Monday. How's everyone doing? The start of a new year. And so we are here today. Uh, we wanted to talk. We realized that last week when we did our um, eight intentions in 2018 for healthy marriages and relationship, uh, due to the circumstances, we neglected to mention one that was important. Um, and it really was number eight uh, it, with some shifting that we've done in, or, in order to make it eight. But it is some um, seeking mentor relationships. So we wanted yes. to do an addendum to what we uh, talked about last week. And so, so we're basically going to focus on that. The addendum today is seeking mentor relationships in 2018 in order to have um, healthier marriages and relationships. So, do you want to start or? And um, if you um, really think about you know your life in total, um, how we respond to people, how we live before people, um, it's really a byproduct of mentor relationship, people you've had in your life living before you, uh, whether in a godly or an ungodly way, I mean, you caught uh, certain attributes, certain things that build your your personality and your character the way you see yourself now and, way, and the way others see you. And uh, one wise man once told me, he says, you're a sum total of your thoughts, your beliefs, uh, your attitudes, and your mentor relationships. I know he threw that in there like, Bam, it's like the secret ingredient, like, you know, to the sauce. But um, in actuality, it is very true. Um, whatever you believe, that's who you are, you know, and you hold a certain uh, barrier or protection of, about those values that you perceive to be correct or incorrect. Um, rarely do we see our views as incorrect, but, you know, we don't all feel like we know it all, but. At the same time, it's very important to assess yourself and see who those people you hang around uh, and how they are attributing to who you are and, and, and what you're allowing to be, a, you know, a part of your core uh, personality and beliefs. So um, that's pretty much, you know, and my wife would probably just share, you know, or expound upon that, or you know, come up with something else that you know uh, is true, and you just you better believe it because it is. You're absolutely right. I think um, mentor relationships are very important. Uh, one, they they challenge you. Uh, when you look, first of all, when you look to a mentor, it's because you see something in them that you aspire to. That you see something like, wow, and and you're just like, I want to be like them, or some attribute that they have that you desire. So, with, in seeking those mentor relationships. Um, it, it just helps you to grow. Uh, they see things perhaps in you that may, they may challenge you. And, um, and because you uh, know them and look up to them, you're willing to have them give feedback to your life. And you're willing to accept that correction or that encouragement. And so, so it's very important if you're going to grow in your relationships, in your marriages, to find people that you would like to emulate and and have them a part of your life. It may not be on a daily basis, it may be monthly, or it may be even less infrequent than that. But the important thing is, is that you go to them, you look to them, you ask for their feedback, and you're willing to grow. Uh, so mentor relationships can be someone in your professional industry, perhaps the, the, the field that you're working in, uh, perhaps there's someone in your church, um, uh, uh, that pastors or other leaders in your church that you look up to and you ask their input. There may be also, um, uh, you may uh, seek the, the um, assistance of a coach. And, uh, and so coaches are, 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 are very much um, used today in order to push you further than you would go by yourself. And that's another thing is that uh, um, uh, mentor relationships helps you to go further than you would go by yourself. We are not on in this world by ourselves, and we need as much help as we can to get us to where we need to go. And um, 
And then um, there may be other social settings that you uh, know people in the way of um, that you can look to it for relationships. So basically, um, that's it. So in 2018, we encourage you to seek mentor relationships so that you can grow and go further than you would go by yourself. And I want to speak to that one person uh, who really feels like you know you've had broken relationships all your life, and you really don't know if it's you or just how people perceive you um, and you're struggling um, you know that's where I believe that you know like my wife was saying you know in the context of relationships and broken relationships you know we here at Inspiritus Life Coaching um, want to help and want to be uh, someone who can come alongside of you and examine and help you examine deeply you know what is the source of this problem and pain because nobody wants to live in pain. Um, so, that being said, we love you. Uh, no man lives on an island, so you're not in this world by yourself, like yes. you said. And we want to be here to provide you assistance in what you need. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Until next week.